We've talked already about the fact that reflection and scattering of light off of particles or off of uh, surfaces can polarize the light. We talked about that in chapter 24, I believe it was. Uh, here we're going to put some meat on those bones and talk about Brewster's Law. And this is the basis behind Polaroid glasses and why they're polarized up and down. Brewster's Law says that if the, so here's an incident light ray that's unpolarized. So these, uh, so this is the ray shown here in red, and these red arrows show the directions of the electric field, which are all perpendicular to the direction of propagation, like we talked about in, uh, I believe it was chapter 24. So that's the incident ray. This is the reflected ray up here, okay? And then this is the refracted ray. So there we go here. If the reflected ray and the refracted ray are 90 degrees apart, 90 degrees from each other, so this angle is 90, then the reflected light will be polarized horizontally. So the only part of the light that actually makes it out of that reflection is polarized horizontally. So uh, if you've got a light source over there, it hits a surface, it reflects up into your eye, and if the refracted ray and the reflected ray are 90 degrees apart, then the reflected light will be horizontally polarized. So if you have vertically polarized sunglasses, they'll block all of that reflected light. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, the, but when you have sunglasses that are polarized on and you're on a rainy day, you can, uh, the ground looks weird. You just, it just doesn't look real. It doesn't look normal. And it's because of this effect where the polarized glasses cut out most of the light that comes off that surface. Now you'll never be exactly at the Brewster angle. You'd be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. But uh, that's how that, where this comes from. If you start off with uh, N1, the Snell's Law, you can easily derive, and the der derivation is done in the book, I won't do it for you here, that Snell's Law shows that reflected light is polarized horizontally at an angle of incidence given by this so-called Brewster's Angle. It's an angle of incidence. So I've denoted here theta b, Brewster's angle, at, um, in, in this diagram. And all you need is the ratio of the two indices of refraction in order to calculate it. And so at that angle, if you were to put in, for example, let's just do a quick example. If uh, N1 is air, and N2 is water, then we're going to plug those numbers in, and tangent of theta b is 1.33 over 1, and then we can find uh, that angle by taking the inverse tangent, I'm not sure what it will be, Whatever that angle turns out to be will be uh, Brewster's angle and you get totally polarized light.